Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. That's right, because it is Friday. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Gotta do that. It's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. And I think I'm going to call this the A Little Cold Edition of Friday's Finds. We're going to kick it off right here. We're going to get cold before we get going on this a little cool, a little chill, a little cold edition of Friday's Finds. Tell me how, say Heidi, post a comment down there. Just say hi. Tell me what you like about Friday's Finds. Vivor, tough tool, half price. It's too big to put up on the display locale. It is kind of heavy too. Not really so much heavy as it is. Ah. Success. We're gonna have fun with this one. Snow cone machine! <laughs> Even comes with solution bottle. I mean, this is a full blown snow cone kit. Let's see what's in this bag. They do a great job of packaging. So they have a handle. Scoop. Some hardware. A ladle. Not sure what the, the ladle's gonna be about. First thing I gotta do is the assembly that's required, and I gotta figure out about the ice situation. So let me find out what kind of ice and put the handle on and get geared up with this. And then we'll, I really like that. I mean, you, you got it, its own tote and tub, and yeah, that one looks fun. Never, ne, ne, never mind the fact that it's the wind chill is like 20 degrees. That looks fun. I gotta figure out the ice situation. While we're on the topic of ice, hold on right here. You never have, you never have enough ice for your beverages. And you want good ice, good ice cubes. Not those funky things that come out your freezer, ice maker that are all, oh, don't taste good. This is the Kelsey Adele ice mold. Check this out. This is, if you like your adult beverages with a little bit of ice, these are silicone molds and they make a little over one inch square cubes of ice. And two of them in the package. 
adults only. Now, I was gonna, I, I was thinking that those might work with the snow cone machine, and, and they might, but I think they'll work with that really nice uh, Villa One Reposado that someone turned me on to. So we'll, we'll be finding that out tomorrow. I'm gonna put some distilled water in here, and we'll see how that works out. Meanwhile, it's time to go small. Time to go real small. Wait, have, having camera issues? It's time to go small. Someone, uh, one of my patrons, a couple months back, or back in January, gifted me with a little truck, a small truck. Uh, and I, and I kind of ran with that. So, so here's the here's the unboxing for that small truck, and, and this will all make sense when we come back. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun one. A box showed up, and I was not expecting so much. Well, I was I kind of was given a heads up that it was on the way, but I wasn't sure. Thank you, Rabbi Jesus. This this is for you. Actually, it's for me from you. The Traxxas TRX4M. I've learned a little bit about the RC car hobby. I never knew that there are scale versus performance, speed. So I've always seen these guys out there with those super fast zipping around. I don't know how they keep control of that. But I like scale. Love model railroads, dioramas. I love all that. Just rarely have the the attention span that it is required to put together something like that. So I've been challenged to scale rock climbing, rock crawling, which is where this comes in. So let's take a look at the TRX 4M from Traxxas. I have a knife. It's interesting, on this side it's blue, and on this side it's brown. Does that mean it changes colors? trailer hitch how about that and it looks like a tool kit I hope, I hope this doesn't require a lot of assembly comes out of the box oh look it's blue <laughs> it even comes with a, an adult size controller okay so I, I watched some videos where people were actually doing this with one hand Takes a, takes a little getting used to. And there's a steering adjustment there. On off there. Does require some batteries. At least the truck comes with a battery. And it's got a charger. Just plugs into USB. Squeaky styrofoam. Doing its job. <laughs> oh, that's that's ways more than I was expecting. It's got that new RC truck smell. Look at how fine the detail is on this little, I mean, from the factory, that's, that's impressive. It's an XLT. It's got clear windows, but be able to see and the headlights come on. 
cool. Be able to drive in the dark. Okay. Well, I, 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 as you can tell, I, I don't have a whole lot of experience in the world of RC cars. But I do like that it's lefty friendly. Here's the blue truck today. I have made a few modifications. If you would like me to go into detail about the modifications that I have done on this little truck, post a comment down there. Yappy's been watching me work on this little truck. I've torn it apart and put it back together multiple times. I have replaced about 75% of the drivetrain's been upgraded. Uh, and it performs much better than it did stock. Uh, but more importantly, I've had, I've just really enjoyed working in the scale. That's the beautiful thing about these, these scale and trail RC cars. It's, it's not just about driving fast and jumping over stuff. It is literally driving a small vehicle, climbing rocks finding obstacles to navigate so you got to get your truck balanced so so that it doesn't fall over uh i'm i'm really going into the scale side of it and and putting details into it that are not stock uh, and that if you want to know more about all of that just post a comment down there and tell me whether or not you want to watch more rc car content if you want to watch dude rc let me know and I'll, I'll start a new playlist and figure out how what kind of content and all of that stuff but meanwhile <laughs> while we're on the small stuff we have another box to open seems that yappy wants to get in on the, on the rc truck game this is the traxxas the, or the trx 4m from traxxas in the bronco and you'll notice it's red on one side and blue on the other and then on the end you've got yellow and a different color blue or gray and then all the features we are working in the 1 18th scale and what that means is 1 18th the size of the normal actual vehicle now traxxas has licensed Ford shapes and logos so they are actually they actually look like Ford and they say Ford the truck says Ford and it couldn't say Ford if they didn't have paid if I had not paid for the license so in the box there's the owner's manual the registration I was surprised to learn there's actually a lifetime guarantee on the electronics uh, after a, I think it's 30 days, it, it, it's a prorated kind of thing. But I had a, the servo went out on the truck within like two weeks. So I was driving it hard. And they just sent me a new one. Comes with some tools. So it comes with a 750 milliamp hour battery bank, a little smart charger doesn't take very long to charge that battery we have the Traxxas controller uh, it's a pretty basic controller you have steering forward reverse and a brake there's actually a brake so if you're driving forward when you pull the trigger and you push it that way it puts the brakes on and then you have to double you have to like shift it into reverse uh, and then there's a steering trim and that's all the controls there are and here's the little truck great one of the things i really like about the traxxas cars is the body just snaps on it's got these little clips right here and you have a fully function functional suspension system and a drivetrain and that's that's pretty much it i mean that's that's the small car now the small car is going to take us 
There's a lot of little screws and stuff on here that are uh, difficult for a pair of old eyes to see. With that in mind, I need spectacle. I need something more than reading glasses to be able to see all these little nuts and screws. And so I found the perfect product for that. And here's the unboxing for it, sitting at the, the kitchen table while I'm working. I have, have recently started a new hobby, and that is the 118th scale rock crawlers. And man, this stuff is so small. Even my readers, I have aging eyes. <laughs> so I'm gonna start working with the rechargeable LED eyeglasses magnifier. So let me open this up and we'll see what's in this box. Instructions, over handy. A thank you card from Yachto Sun. And then we have the assembly. Now this, this has LED lights. How do we turn them on? Right there. Maybe not. There it is. So we have LED light. That'll help. And then we have a strap to keep them from falling. Charge cord because the battery is integrated. It's built in. And then we have a set of the glasses it goes from one one magnification all the way up to like five so i'm not sure which one's going to work best but for demonstration purposes we'll pop that one in they're pretty comfortable oh much better i can actually <laughs> see things up close now all right, let me, let me work with these a little bit and I'll be back. These things are great. I love that it's got two different light levels so that I can change them out. Just totally tore that apart and put it, put it back together. And it was so much easier being able to see. You'll appreciate having them too. There are no off and on switches to turn it on. I have a hot battery here. You First, you turn on the controller, you get a green light, and then you plug in and we're ready to ride. So we were also gifted a professional lighting kit. So that'll be the first project on Yappy's new Bronco. She's been bugging me for a long time about wanting a Bronco. Well, now she can no longer bug me about the Bronco. I have a glass. I'm ready for a, a cold beverage, a cold adult beverage. So it's been in the freezer for uh, four days. It's perfect. It's the perfect size. Now we just need something to put in it. I like that. Bigger cubes slower melt, distilled water, no taste, just 
just makes it cold, makes it refreshing. I like these ice cubes way better than the other kind that comes out of the freezer. It's time to play with the snow cone machine. I actually call it an ice crusher, but it's really not a crusher, it's more of a shredder. They include some extra blades. So that when the ones that come inside the machine get dull, you're good to go. You've got new ones, of course you've got your, your bottles. Now I've mixed up some colored water here since I don't consume, I don't add sugar in my diet, so no snow cones for Dude RV. And I also discovered, I've been pondering this, to get ice down that curved chute, and then I, I realized the Daisy Cottage cheese container is the perfect shape. There's actually one in there. So we're, we're ready, we're ready to fire up and fire up, we're ready to Grind up some some ice uh Oh what happened? Safety. So when you when you pick that up, it turns off. Let's do another. I have another. So you see, watch. It'll it'll fit right in perfect size. <laughs> Let's do some more. Dress up some snow, some ice. Have our little scoop. Oh, it's fluffy. It's just like snow. All right, so now we have a little bow. We have a snow cone. That's pretty cool. Tastes like water. Tastes a lot like water. Filtered water. If you're looking to make some snow cones, I think that's a heck of a deal right there. If you've got kids or you're going to like a family reunion or something, you'll be the hit with the kids if you take that with you. Well, I've reached the end of my drink and I've reached the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. Now, all of these items can be found on Amazon with the exception of the, the blue Traxxas truck. That's not available. The big ones are, but the smaller ones are not. The little... 118 scale Bronco. That one is on Amazon. To facilitate your shopping needs, I'll provide you with a link in the card above and in the description below. That link will take you to the Friday's Finds a shopping list on the Dude RV's gear recommendation Amazon page. Your business is most appreciated. And I know those vendors would also really be grateful if you stop by and pay a visit. If you've not already, 
I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. That really helps with that stupid algorithm thing. And if you've already subscribed, thank you. I truly appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to spend with me watching these crazy videos that I'm producing. And for my patron, I cannot express enough my gratitude. Your generosity is most appreciated. Thank you. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?